the U.S. Army has abruptly ended the FARA program, also known as the Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft, according to Anthony Angran's report in Air and Cosmos. This move comes in response to the swift advancements in battlefield technologies, which now provide more cost-effective and efficient alternatives to manned aircraft. The demise of FARA adds to a series of unsuccessful programs, including the Comanche and Arapaho initiatives, signaling the end of the Army's pursuit for a next-generation reconnaissance aircraft. This decision also halts a potentially lucrative contract for Bell and Sikorsky. Notably, it marks the fourth attempt to replace the aging Bell Kiowa, which saw its OH-58 model retired in 2014, now left incomplete in its development. The disappointing journey began with the cancellation of the Ra-66 Comanche under the light helicopter program in 2004. Following this, the Bell ARH-70 Arapaho, born from the armed reconnaissance helicopter program, was stopped in 2006. Similarly, the armed aerial scout program, exploring off-the-shelf solutions, met its end in 2013. Initially starting with five competitors in 2019, the FARA program dwindled down to just two contenders by March 2020. Bell with the Bell 360 Invictus and Sikorsky with the Raider X despite advancing to Phase 2 of the competition, no final winner was declared. General Randy George, the U.S. Army Chief of Staff, highlighted the lessons drawn from recent conflicts, particularly in Ukraine, as pivotal in the decision-making process. He stressed the evolving landscape of aerial reconnaissance, where unmanned systems and space-based sensors now offer greater ubiquity, autonomy, and cost-effectiveness than ever before. The termination of the FARA program underscores the challenges modern militaries face in adapting to rapidly evolving technologies and emphasizes the necessity to reassess traditional approaches in light of these advancements.